Man, Rockstar out here banning cheaters when the cops are the real modders in this game. Look at this. Like, come on, man. That that's that's significantly worse than a dude with God mode. Anyway, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another episode of the Rockstar Logic. <laughs> Hopefully you guys had a good week and uh, start of the weekend. As always with these videos, if you want to submit your own Rockstar Logic, just go on Twitter or either in the comment section. Uh, we'll go on Twitter with the hashtag Rockstar Logic or you can leave it in the comment section. But, uh, yo, like, I know you could attribute that to lag, but please, man, I, I really hope we don't have something like that intro clip in Red Dead Redemption 2. Because, God, that is so annoying. But, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hop in. So, first and foremost, I want to start with the GP1. See, here I'm thinking, we're three years into the game, and some of these problems just wouldn't happen anymore, you know? Rockstar have learned their lesson, but they're out there to prove me wrong, it seems. We're gonna do a quick rapid fire on the GP1's Rockstar Logics. First off, why does your guy go for the door handle when there is no door handle? There's apparently a button you press to open the doors. Next up, why are there two different windows in the back? What purpose does two of them serve? Third, the steering wheel goes through your legs. Why does that still happen? Fourth, why does this still happen? Look at the gauges, I still can't see them. And then five, that thing doesn't have a radio. There is nothing on the interior of this car. So how do I listen to the radio? All right, I'm glad we got those out the way. <laughs> like I said, man, Rockstar, they, they still surprise me. <laughs> anyway, let's hop into some of the other Rockstar logics that are not on the GP1. First off, we had this happen with Lamar the other week or a few weeks ago, but the assistant is just as bad. You were standing right next to her, or him, depending on which one you have. You go and call them, maybe just to see if their phone's working, and they don't answer. They are right there, and they say they are busy. I can't take your call right now. Please try again later. You were not doing a damn thing, lady. So answer your freaking phone. So, we going to have good week? This is a good one. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess this is just Rockstar for you. I, they have no turbo on sale. Like, the none option is on sale. Only only Rockstar could pull that off. <laughs> A really good one, I think, actually, is when you're drowning, you're underwater, you can actually survive by eating snacks. Just think of that. The logic of that. You can survive drowning by eating snacks. Only in this game, man. I'm convinced, by the way, that Rockstar just have something against parking spaces because there's, there's just no reason for this to happen. How in the world are you supposed to get there and how are you supposed to get out? Now this next clip, uh, this is something that's actually bothered me quite, quite a bit, man. And it's something that you don't really notice that often, but when it does happen, you're just like, really, that, that's what you're going to do? So. As we all know, when you're driving around in GTA, for the most part, you're driving like a maniac. You know, you're not following the speeding rules or any of the rules of the road. And for for the most part, the NPCs don't really care, right? I mean, unless you like hit them or something. They're not going to like honk at you. I, I've never heard them honk at me. But when you decide to actually follow the rules of the road and you're just driving around like a normal person, then all of a sudden every NPC becomes a dickhead and they just blow their horn, start yelling at you and stuff. Why do they do this, Rockstar? I actually found out about this next one when I was doing an import-export source mission the other day. So when you're doing a source mission, you have the repair number at the bottom, and if you crash or if someone shoots you or whatever, you know, you damage your car in any way, the repair number goes up, right? But see, no, no, because guess what? You're in that brand new car and you decide, instead of rolling down the window, I'm just gonna hit it with my elbow and completely shatter it. I'm gonna break it, but the repair number doesn't go up. It's like that doesn't even happen. You you can just break both windows and the repair cost stays the same. Like, 
but you shoot them and then the repair cost goes up, man. I just, it doesn't make sense. You're breaking the window, but apparently it doesn't even matter. And then this final one we have is, is actually pretty damn funny. I've never noticed this, but I'm glad to the person who sent this in. I'm glad you did send this in. So in the Dominator, right? You can see here in the gameplay. So there are these, uh, these window covers on the back and you see them perfectly fine, right? They're there. Wrong. They are not there when you're in first person. I think his reaction just like flipping out <laughs> makes this makes that clip man that's, <laughs> oh that's good anyway thank you all for watching this episode of the rockstar logic i uh, do have a bonus clip showing off some uh, some parachute physics in gta this guy thought he was gonna win but no sir the parachute physics denied him that number one spot so please enjoy thank you all like i said let me know your real rockstar logics in the comments or on twitter with the hashtag rockstar logic and as always i'll see you guys in the next one